But let me ask you this, though, Ian. Uh, obviously, uh, speaking on investing, uh, you know, us as athletes, yep. you know, young black men, you know what I'm saying? Most of us college graduates, I don't know, these young boys, they getting eight degrees with that NIL shit. <laughs> uh, right. getting, all this, getting all this money early on, like, I think, you know, just speaking from personal experience, like, when you coming in, everybody, I'm talking about everybody, as soon as you sit down, watch your 30 for 30, you're broke. Yeah. You, know, you, watch, you watch 30 for 30, cool. hear, you know, 15 motherfuckers tell you how they spent all that shit. Yeah. Like, damn. I maybe I might have stopped, but some of that shit look all right. <laughs> that should give you ideas. But it's just like you getting an influx of information. You got people coming at you. You got, and sometimes it's just so hard to weed out. All right, what's the white noise, mm. and what's the one that's actually, or the this is the what's actually what I need to lock in on, yeah, and, and really understand. So like, just in terms of young young men getting into wealth, like yeah. information. What's what's like the first thing I feel like, or one of the first things you think they should start paying attention to. Um, humbly me. Nah, <laughs> nah, that's nah, a fact. Nah, don't do that's that humble fact. shit. If I made that's you money. Hey, we ain't humble today. Hey, go we ain't ahead. Humble today. I, I'm we just saying, if today. I made you money, please put yes in the comments. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, so, sir. Yeah. Um, that I think um, CNBC is a good resource for stocks. Uh, it's a book that I love called Money Master the Game. Mm. So Tony Robbins interviewed like the top fifty people in investing, and got a lot of knowledge from them. And they broke down their strategy, but. Um, I think you need to listen to the people, A, who are doing it, either for themselves or they have a track record of doing it for clients. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the 30 for 30 for broke, it does matter because, like, when that money comes in, now all of a sudden everyone sees you as, as a target. Mm -hmm. Management, agents, women, like, there's a whole thing that we have to learn, family, friends, just how to say no. Because, like, well, you Wait, got it. I saw the report. What you mean you can't give me... And then the requests become crazy. Can, crazy. I, can I get 9000 I'm like, you got to go to the grocery store. What do you need 9000 for? <laughs> the fuck you buying? Dinosaur eggs? Okay. <laughs> Let me hold the hell can for the weekend. Let me hold the hell can for the weekend. Yeah, it's like, what? What am I supposed to drive? Right. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I think it's really important. I think everyone should like read at least one or two books per month. Mm. Um, mm. You really have to dive in because the thing that's really interesting, like you'll take a person like, Paul Tudor Jones is like the Michael Jordan of future trader. Mm. Make $30 million a month. No one hardly knows who he is. Yeah, I know. So um, read one book a month, tap into some of the information that I'm giving. And I think most important just to want to know the information. A lot of time I feel like athletes wait too long until their careers are almost over to want to tap in. And it's like, bro, you have to start immediately. Because my thing is like if you invest – into the market. So I always recommend VOO, which is an index fund, VTI, mm -hmm. Apple, mm -hmm. Microsoft. Mm -hmm. But like, then when you get to ones that can go parabolic, like NVIDIA, AMD, I recommended four years, three years ago when it was at 11 bucks, mm. 15 extra turn now. Mm. So imagine if you were to put two or three million into that, you can make the same kind of money off the field that you're making on. And that's the thing that I really want to help athletes do is understand like the ga same game money that you're making, you should be making outside of the court and field. But let me ask you this, because I think the first uh, response you're going to get to everybody is, bro, I got so much going on. I ain't got time to be. You got time for them bitches? I, oh, like, I'm shit. telling you. I'm bam, telling bam, you. Bam, let me bam, see the my GDMs. <laughs> so the, the little bitch in Miami, I saw you with. It's a couple of y'all. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> if we going to talk. Like yeah, I hold no punches, bro. No, <laughs> I got on the elevator. So, yo, even, I ain't going to say who, but even uh -oh. when we was in the Bahamas, I saw an old boy who just. Got divorced uh -huh. from old girl. Uh -huh. He has six baddies at the table. I'm like, I'm like, damn, I see why you got divorced, but I ain't mad at you. Hey. Yeah. All them costs, though. Swell. Yeah. But so they, they we just... make time for what we want to make time for. And he, outside of that, take 30 minutes, the same 30 minutes you're going to give her in Miami. Mm. Take another 30. 30, and just learn about I take 10, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> right? Um, and, and then just take the time to learn. For sure, for sure. I think I think the uh, I think the biggest issue that uh, a lot of athletes face, um, especially when we first coming in, bro, is you get so many people that's trying to put you on autopilot yeah. for different things in your life. Yeah. Uh, and and to be honest with you, uh, and it's something that uh, Tim has finally starting to realize that I've been trying to tell him for a long time, bro. The NFL is so diverse. Yeah. <laughs> it's so many different people. You got to think. All right, I'm with the Syracuse. We recorded. We recruited Philly, Jersey, New York. Uh, Ohio, everybody yeah. recruits Miami. Miami niggas are everywhere. So yeah. Dade County's everywhere. For sure. In a little Texas. Now, coming to Indianapolis, I got dudes from Utah, from NorCal, South Cal, uh, yeah. uh, 
North Dakota. Like, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are just from a whole different Everywhere, type of places. Yeah. Alabama, Mississippi, like, and especially them Southern guys, like, since they was yay high, since they was young, and since they was chosen, like, okay, you from, I got guys on my team that's from a town of a thousand people. Wow. You know, that that grew up with one stop sign in a whole damn town. I couldn't yeah. list shit like that. But that's where they from. They was chosen and decided, okay, he's going to be the guy since he was in high school. They, there's a whole lot of people in your life that's been taking care of a whole lot of shit. Yeah. And now you asking them pretty much to, you know, it's just like, how do, how do you talk to them about trying to take ownership of their life? Like, I mean, this is the unfortunate part. When you're rich, when you go broke, no one's going to feel sympathy for you. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. They're going to say you should have managed the money better. Mm -hmm. You had access to all these people. Why didn't you ask someone in your field? So not only for the protection of you, but your children, your family members going forward. Because no one talks about the depression when you have it and then you lose the bag. Mm. And now you're looked at as a, the same guy who was like the guy from high school. And now you're 38 and you lose it. You're a failure. It will, yeah, it's going to affect your fucking confidence. Yeah. Like, I hate to see what Antoine Walker went through like mm. all those years ago. Like when at Carmel, he was the guy mm. in high school. Then to make it to college, then NBA then had a fall off. It's tough. But people are always angling how to get money out of you. you. If you don't learn, there are women, agents, business owners who are going to bring opportunities for you that are not in your best interest, that look good, and you may get 5%, but they're getting 45% return. Mm. You have to know that. You're in the other game with a bunch of sharks who do this shit for a living. Got to be careful. Yeah, You're going to run across a smart Britney Renner in addition to LA, and she's going to get you <laughs> two, 300000 a month. <laughs> You got to be on game, but it's also super empowering. And also for any athlete who's watching, I think it'll help your negotiation skills too on the field. Because if you got three, four, five, six million coming in, in addition to what you're making, the confidence is going to be a lot different when you go to the negotiating table. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, shout out to my man, uh, Hunley, uh, Brett Hunley. Man, I remember he was, he was in his seventh year, locker was oh. next to mine. Yeah. Bro, he 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 opened his phone and showed me like, yeah, he getting thirty thousand a month from Airbnb. That's just Airbnb though. Yeah, yeah. He he like, I don't give a fuck about this practice squad shit. I'm just out here because I like playing football. That's love. That's a different type. That's of That's a different piece. kind of energy and peace of mind. Yep. It's yep. a little different though. Yeah. Co star yelling at you. Man, I'm getting. You know what I just yeah. made today? I don't need this. Shit. Don't need it. I might yeah. start raising my voice in a meeting. <laughs> no, <laughs> no more. Yeah, that. for real. Yeah, it could change. It could change a lot. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, well, why do you think uh, more athletes are afraid to invest? Because you guys have mastered one of the hardest fucking skills on earth. 100%. So why do you think when I say, hey, put in 20 minutes, people are like, oh, I don't have the time? I think uh, for athletes who've been successful for so long, yeah, um, they're scared to fail. Mm. Um, really? Young boys and not even young boys, guys today, they would rather risk, you know, Fifty thousand for the for the for the for the baguette up time piece or yeah. uh, that rather than you know like you said put fifty thousand in VOO and just see what happens. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like you know what I mean they would rather do that just because they would hate to be the guy to put fifty thousand and then now that dropped to twenty five and now you looking like a goofy because you just lost twenty five rather than yeah. you just spend fifty thousand on diamonds and you ain't getting that back. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I just feel like they just so used to success. Uh, and it's it's like you said, it's that group thing. You know, guys afraid to step out of that box of what they see themselves. You'd be surprised. Like I'm the type of person. Like my whole life, I never wanted to let one thing define me. Yeah. Like, that was kind of my whole thing. I always just wanted to be a full, encompassing person. Like for me, being a student was just important as being uh, a, a athlete. You know yeah. what I mean? Being a, a husband is just as important as being a father or a brother and all that other stuff. So. For me, I always wanted to have different parts of me because I always understood that this football thing could be taken away from me. Yeah. And, um, you know, even with all the work that I'm doing, I'm st I still know I'm going to struggle with the day that I got to step away. Hopefully yeah. I'm walking away, not taking away. Yeah. But uh, I think just for a lot of guys, it's just – and also, too, you know, from football specifically, you know, the average career is two, two and a half years. That's crazy. Two and a half years. I mean, for guys, you know, I'm going into seven. Um, you know, God bless, but, you know – you get, you know what I mean? Let's say you get, get window. yeah, nine years to just dedicate yourself to this craft to just make the most money that you get. A lot of, I got dudes that won't even get married or even date because they just be on some, I'm playing football right now. Mm. That don't make no fucking sense to me though. First, first gotcha. But it's guys that just feel like this is their moment. This is what they got going on. They they don't want to risk it doing something else. So it's like, 
the way like you would look like I I got my degree in finance, so I just kind of always understood that like if you put if I got fifty thousand in my savings account and then I put fifty thousand into uh you know another stock, I didn't lose fifty thousand. My fifty thousand just changed form. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I look at it like that, but a lot of people don't look at it like that. What do you think we can do to change it? Conversations like this, people yeah. hearing from people like you, understanding that uh, the twenty minutes that you took just sitting. Uh, you know, on your on your bed or in the locker, uh, just you know scrolling on that explore page, and you yeah. you went from one profile and then you then the explore page follow? entertaining though, yeah, that's crazy, yeah. 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 Hey, you're, you're but to that, to work on that, John, though. absolutely. <laughs> but no, to to that to that question, though, I, I wanted to ask you about that. It's like, it's, obviously, there are so many different ways that someone and I would think either athlete that has no idea about it or the average Joe that's not educated and you are trying to go out and basically like create your own rubric. Mm -hmm. Like how how do you even go about that? Right? Cause if I'm I gotta say if I'm I'm listening to you and I'm yeah. tapping in with you, I'm like, all right shit, well I got the shit in talking about well damn who what they doing over here? Can I add this like what should be the steps for someone to be like, yo, if I'm consistently trying to do this, this is who I should listen to. This is what I should invest in. Like, how do I, how do you even go about putting um, that It's really simple. Like, the formula that I came over for free is, like, two tech, two indexes. So, if I ask everyone, what's the number one phone company in the world, everyone says? Apple. Apple. Great. Then how, how much are you investing into it? Number one electronic vehicle company? Tesla. 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 Yeah. Number one in uh, AI. Open AI. That's Microsoft. Microsoft. Owned by Microsoft. Yeah. Like, we know what to invest in, but I think we just have to make the decision to have the same discipline when it comes to athletics as we do as like intellectual athletics. Like, cause this is going to mm. give you more freedom. Mm. Um, but where, where do you start? Like, I mean, CNBC, me, we do market Mondays, right. my YouTube page, like any, uh, Peter Thiel is a good one in venture capital. Yeah. The resources are there, but I can't get like, I can't give you the dog to want to go find the shit. Mm. I can like, I've helped people make millions of dollars for free. You can't say that the information is not there. Yeah. Investing is probably the easiest thing to do in business because you know only probably 10 or 15 companies every year are going to produce the most results. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm saying that I, I agree with you that, that the information is there. What I'm asking is that how many people can constantly put themselves under, like you said, the 20 or 30 minutes yeah. of the revision? Because it's a constant revision. Like I, That's when I look at like yeah. finances. It's like it's every day. It's like all oh, you have to then it's the it's just not always consistency and concept. It's yeah. revision. Yeah. You have to go back. That's what I'm asking. Like how I, mean, I, I think you have to treat it like a sport. Mm. Like I think too often, and this is the thing that I love about athletics, they'll watch your greatness and we'll talk about time and how much time and Kobe. Everyone loves the mob and mentality shit yeah. until it's time for you to do it. Mm. Will you do it on your own to put that time in mm. every single day? And if you don't want to, you have to deal with the effects that come with that.